Hi, welcome back. So we are at the stage of uh, you know uh, actually implementing the logic uh, hardware of our logic uh, design robot. So uh, you have already seen the algorithm of how things work and how to design an algorithm, how to give input functions and how to assign output functions for those. So uh, coming to the next part, we'll be looking at uh, the hardware. Uh, logic, uh, you know, design that is needed, and the circuit design that is needed to make your robot work. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'd like to, uh, uh, you know, uh, introduce you to the below topics in the post about the logic gates and digital logic design, etc. So it will help you a lot. Okay, so first you go through uh, all those things and also, uh, you know, uh, learn more about logic gates. Okay, try to learn and. Uh, so I'll in, I'll be introducing you to uh, logic design IC. Okay. So as you can see, I'm holding uh, you know logic design circuit. Actually, this was uh, uh, our line for our robot, but this is a quite complex one. It has so many functions. So don't worry about the complexity of this one. Yours won't be of such a high complexity. As you can see here on this board, mm -hmm. we have a set of ICs, a set of nine ICs. Okay. So let's say I'll, I'm gonna remove an IC from an IC holder. Okay, and I will show you. Okay, this is an IC. It has so many pins around here. This is, these are the output and input pins, and you have to give plus VCC and uh, ground that is uh, 5 volts and 0 volts, etc. This is the IC holder pin, okay? So you will be needing ICs, IC holder pin, and maybe a general purpose circuit board like this one, like the board that I'm holding, which will have a uh, copper uh, cladded holes. So on that, you can actually make uh, connections using soldering gun and pin on the back side of the board uh, according to your circuit design okay so this is your one choice or else if you if you think this is too much for you or basic robot you can just use a breadboard okay this is a breadboard you can connect your IC here just plug in there and just uh, take wire connections from this and you'll be ready to go with just uh, as you can see here with just two ICs I have actually made a line follower robot okay uh, this is uh, actually a power supply we'll come to that later uh, and uh, so those are your two options to, uh, to make uh, you know uh, your logic hardware possible and you will be needing uh, lots and lots of female uh, female female port wires uh, okay and then you'll be needing uh, port pins like these ones like these ones here so that you can actually connect your uh, female female port uh, wires and uh, uh, I'll just give you a basic, uh, uh, you know, introduction of the logic gates. Like I'm just gonna name it for you. Seven four, there is an IC called seven four zero zero. This is the, actually the name of the IC. They number it, you know, uh, as their names are the actually numbers. So seven four zero zero is your NAND gate, which is a two input NAND gate. Seven four zero eight is an AND gate and IC. And 7404 is a NOT, 7432 is an R gate IC, and 7486 is a ZOR gate IC. Okay, so all these ICs will have four NAND gates, four or, uh, uh, and four NOT, uh, six NOT, sorry, four R and four ZOR gates in it. A single IC will have, uh, let's say a single IC of uh, 740, it will have four AND gates with two inputs and one output and you'll have to connect, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, with CCM ground. So for more information on the actual connections on which, what pins do what, so please go through, uh, just go to Google and type in data sheet, sheet of 7400 or any of these ICs so that you will know what connections of what and all so you can uh, use it in your actual breadboard for more explanation on this please go through the links and uh, read the post provided below okay so on the next part we'll be looking at the actual circuit design and I will be drawing the circuit design using the uh, algorithm that we actually uh, have uh, designed before so I'll be seeing you with that okay see ya